wanna find out my limits I'ma put everything in it I'm in this life to win it And this is just the beginning So Rich, I just said to Wes that I would have possibly had down as the final, him and Mikey. And Wes just looked at me and what did you say to me, Wes? Uh, I'm glad I've got Mikey first. Would you like to elaborate on that to let us know? I know you're a bit keeping things close to your chest, but yeah. that to me, as I said and I meant it, that's worth the admission alone today. Mm. He, he's the more busier fighter, I think, out of most of them. So I think if I uh, excel most of my energy, not that I've not got enough for six rounds because I do, I'm just, I'm just playing chess in my own mind and I'm glad I've got Mikey first. Well, Rich, I mean, you heard that. I, um, I personally yeah. would have loved to have seen that as the final, but Wes, he's, it, there's just something about him today. He's oozing quiet confidence and says, let's have him first. I mean, this is worth the admission price alone, surely. 100%. You're going to probably see the best cruiserweight fight in the country. Um, Mikey Bourne, for those who don't know him, he's had about 70 fights. He's won 67 of them. Um, this guy, he should he should have been a pro boxer, but obviously he he, he was unable to get licensed. Um, hence why he's on this circuit. Uh, he is a legend. I'm, uh, when I first started boxing myself, I heard that name, Mikey Bourne. He was a heavyweight. He was knocking people out for fun, and and I'm actually quite honoured he's on my show. But he's got. I've said I I cannot say enough for this guy. This man is a talent. He can box, and you're going to see quality boxing and. You know, Mikey's a, an aggressive, come forward fighter, but this guy's like a it's like a chess match. Well, Rich, one of the things I want to say just just the body language, everything about Wes. There's there's no concern there at all. We're looking at a very calm, confident boxer who I just get a, a feeling from is so confident in his own ability. Uh, he should be because the guy can box. I mean, I was so impressed with him last year, and he was going to box again. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, and. I'm really glad, you know, look, people sometimes in life, they sway off their path and he's back on the right path now and he's, he's in with a good man, Alec McDonald, and I hope he stays on that right path because he's, he's a talent. But I'm telling you now, Mikey Bourne, Wes Bone, that is going to be, uh, it's going to be an awesome fight. Well, Wes, we can't wait to see that, mate. Can't wait to see you April the 1st. Well, ladies and gentlemen, listening to that, one thing I've picked up on that is positivity. And that's what I've got for this show, April the 1st at the Mecca. From every boxer you've heard today, the way they've conducted themselves, the eighth anniversary show at the Mecca, I think this is going to be our biggest yet. We said there's still tickets on the door, but I really think you're going to miss out on an incredible show for Tank Promotions if you're not there April the 1st. Thank you so much, everyone.